KSL has shared with you a lot of war stories, but none like this one. In fact, it's about a sheriff who thwarted an enemy attack right here in Utah and how he went to great heights to do it. Photojournalist Peter Rosen has tonight's Primetime 5 Insight Report. A rancher in rugged northern Utah started The story out about Wade Hyde's dad Hard to believe, but it is true. begins in the hills above Tremont and with a phone call. Sheriff, there's a strange contraption up here. In Brigham City, his dad was Box Elder County Sheriff Warren Hyde. What does it look like, Floyd? Artist Marion Hyde sketched a portrait of their lawman father. Always wore a cowboy hat. A no-nonsense cowboy. A six-gun strapped to his side. Who could sniff out trouble. He nabbed one of the ten most wanted on the FBI list, sleeping in a car on Main Street in Tremont. And this day, he knew something was up and raced out to the ranch. And when the sheriff got out here to the ranch, what he discovered... That there was a strange object floating around... ...was an aerial attack from Japan. This is one of the Japanese paper balloons. At the time, this was top secret. And they didn't want the uh, public to panic. It takes approximately four days to make the crossing. The sheriff, though, had been briefed by the FBI and knew about an invasion of thousands of 30-foot balloons launched from Japan, riding the jet stream across the Pacific to the West Coast and beyond, each one carrying five bombs designed to set fires and kill. The sheriff knew the U.S. government desperately wanted to capture a balloon intact to figure out how to stop the attack. And so he raced after it, first in his car. And his car began to skid. And then on foot. He loped across the field, eyeing the balloon as he ran. Eventually, at the edge of a ravine, Sheriff Hyde caught up with the balloon and quickly grabbed hold of a shroud line. And just at that moment, a gust of wind came up. Like a thing alive, the balloon suddenly jerked hide off his feet and lurched into the air. And the sheriff went for a ride. The man dangled like a tiny puppet as the balloon leaped and twisted upward. He was lifted 30 feet in the air. Carried him around the uh, field for uh, quite some time. Hide the balloon. Hide dug his feet into the ground, but once more. And the bomb. He was in the air, really up and down and up and down. The ground below was a whirling pattern of dirt and grass. He was on the balloon actually, I think for around 45 minutes. But uh, he wouldn't let go. Finally, the sheriff wrestled it to the ground. The balloon stopped. And tied this, this is the actual balloon. Somehow Hyde anchored it. To a tree. The military detonated the bomb and chipped the rest off for analysis. He never really talked about it a lot. It was just... Sheriff Hyde wasn't one to discuss his escapades with his sons, but years later, when they learned the full story, they weren't in the least surprised. When I found out about it, I would just kind of shake my head and say, Jesus, that that's the old man. Was their dad. He's just right out front. Right out front, up in the air. Getting the job done. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. Peter, thank you. As many as 9,000 Japanese balloon bombs were launched during World War II. At least six landed here in Utah. And believe it or not, late last year, two forestry workers found one in the woods of British Columbia. By then, the balloon had disintegrated, but the shrapnel bomb was still intact. <laughs>